on turn three, like the really fast tribal zoo decks. Yeah. But but Auntie's not running that type of deck because he's running Dark Confidant yeah. and Tide Hall's Guard. He's got at least some look to to pass turn four or five. Yeah, which is interesting. I, I, to see. I, yeah, I think and. Uh, I, I think step links would be, especially if you're playing confidant to fuel the step links, I think step links is way better than lone lion. So. For sure. Good. No, it could be that he just wanted to try the new card and listen to all the hype, so. I'm pretty sure lone, I, I, I think lone lion's worse than step links, just because, yeah. like, usually the games where you cast step links turn one, you win, if you've got a couple more lands. Well, as we say, that step links gets into the red zone, dropping Conley down to, to 18. You mean lone lion? Yeah. <laughs> Low mine, yeah, <laughs> the the worst one. Sorry. I mean, we could just tell this game, for instance, that that was a step links that would have been four damage because he has a fetch land here. Yep. And Auntie boarded in meddling mage from his board. I saw. Okay. When he was searching through his deck. Sure. Uh, yep. Not sure what he's thinking about naming though. Probably Jace. Right. Uh, Cryptic. No, he's know. probably. Maybe he's probably going to say it was always Jete because he ta he's he taps out a lot, so. Uh, to play his scholars and his confidants, and uh, I don't think he wants to have to worry about Jitty equipped with like counter backup or something. <coughs> Unfortunately, uh, can can Conley sneak the GT into play under Stoneforger Mystic? He can. Yeah. yeah. So it's an interesting thing. To I mean, think to be about. honest, I think he probably bought out the Stoneforger Mystic for Omisawa GT, but you can't, in a Zoom matchup, you can't afford to be paying six mana for your GT. You need to be costing four. I mean, there's something to say, though, to have three GTAs right. instead of two, right? Uh, Maybe it's not worth the, the man investment. But yeah, I think, I think it's the... GTA's probably the best card in his deck in this matchup. Yeah. Uh, it's it's probably Jason Cryptic Command with... Uh, Rock Swarm Monk's probably better, too. Yep. Did you just path it? No? Yeah, he path the Dark Confidant. Oh, he exposes for one and path oh, the... Uh, and, yeah. and path the Confidant, okay. Again, I... Yeah, I guess. See, like, like uh, Conley would be at 12 here if, if that were yeah. step links. Yeah. He'd actually be at less because Conley broke a fetch land and played a, a breeding pool untapped, I believe. Yeah. I did. Oh, no, no, nice. he didn't play a breeding pool untapped. He fetched it in a turn at the Misty Marine Forest, yeah. Yeah. So, what's in what's in Auntie's hand? He's got Tide Hollow Skull. Is that another Dark Confidant and a Spell Pierce, I see? Yeah, that might be. I think it's a Spell Pierce, yeah. It's crazy. We haven't seen a blue man, blue man out of Auntie's <laughs> deck yet, so it's kind of. Surprising, and with uh, just a Verdant Catacombs in his hand, is oh, he's got a Halvon and Verdant Catacombs, so he can cast the, the Spell game? Pierce. Uh, yeah, yeah Conley won the first game. Oh, that's a damper in the Now, uh, Auntie could have also had a fetch lane in his hand, so again, this step lane would have hit for another four. Yeah, so dropping uh, dropping Conley down to seven, I think. Yeah, and he had his Helix in his hand, and like he could he could have played two two power creatures here, so he would be just on board dead if that was a step lane. Yeah. Now here, what card he's going to take? He's uh, probably going to take uh, the Tarmogoyf here. It's the best card in his hand. He's probably thinking he can spell Pierce the as always Jete, so he's not going to take that. And plus, he has no reason to play Jete next turn because he has no cards in play. He's going to have to play a creature, and Tarmogoyf's the best creature right now. It'll be a yeah, two-three. He's, he's definitely getting a creature, and like. Well, actually, you know, if Tarmogoyf's going to be a two-three next turn, he probably might take the Samurai of the Pale Curtain. Although no, because he, he his may opponent. Be able to no, no, the thing that is that his opponent has uh, Conley has missing rainforest in his hand, so he's gonna have to Only fetch right now, an untapped uh, hollowed right, fountain to cast that semi the pale curtain. So he, actually, for that. so actually, he's probably gonna take Vendillion Clip because it's the only card he can actually cast next turn that has three power that matters. Hmm. Auntie mulling over his options. So if he, it, what's in Auntie's hand? Is he afraid of the Vendillion Click getting something from there? I don't think so, right? Just the Spell Pierce, if that. Yeah, I'm. I'm not really sure what he's thinking about. It. He. He's probably. He has to be thinking about the Tarmogoyf. Whether that's whether he should be taking the Tarmogoyf for the Vendillion Click. He knows he can't take Samurai the Park Card because it's the worst card in his hand. Yeah. It forces to basically give Auntie an extra card for the three damage. Jitte, interesting. So he's just blanking his own Spell Pierce by doing that. That's really odd. Yeah. So, uh, Auntie's got Dark Confidant, and it's gonna sack a Verdant Catacombs, yeah. presumably play it. Keep it up with you. I don't, I don't think Auntie's playing a uh, Watery Grave in his deck, so he can't get 
with the blue here. Well, you said he had a hollow out in his hand, so he's, he's still probably fine on that. Probably just gets what overgrown to him. Or uh, I don't know, uh he needs crypt. a rather red source, I think. He needs a red source that's not black. Yeah. Okay, so you got a black source then. Okay. Bob. Go. I mean, he ne he needs a red source and a black source, and he's yeah. probably only running one blood crypt. Yeah. Because he needs a black source to cast Dark Confidant, and he wants two red sources, so he's stuck between a rock and a hard place. He needs to get either the Overgrown Tomb or, I don't know, Stomping Ground, both of which he doesn't want. That step points would have changed this game entirely. I mean, the game would already be over if it was yep. step points, so it's not. No surprise there. I mean, I keep peering over the life till I'm like, so Conley's like almost dead. He's at like six life, right? <laughs> no, he's at eleven. I really don't think. I think G, that that G tape play may have. If if Auntie loses this game, I think that may have cost him it. Getting getting the GTA with the tight holes. Yeah, that, like it does seem kind of suspect. You you want to blank Conley's turn this turn uh, as most as much as you can, and yeah. then be able to get in for as much as you can. And like, I mean, he's obviously worried about him playing a Tarmogoyf, and since he has no removal spell, that he can't kill a Tarmogoyf, and then Conley would rip a, another land, so he could do Jitty equip and attack. But he could spell Paris, and even if he can pay the two mana, he's Why not going to be able to equip it that so turn. Awkward. And the, the turn is you all just, he you needs. Can, you, in the one turn that you have is all you're going to need to kill him. So, uh, looks like Conley drew a Vant charm to uh, add to his hand of uh, Vant charm's pretty good. Uh, Samurai of the Pale Curtain and Vendillion Click and Tom Magoyf. So Auntie draws uh, another land in Arid Mesa. Ten. Bash is in there for four. Dropping Conley to six, I believe. Now, uh, also to note that Con I had Malin has another fetch land, so Steplinks would have been exact to kill him. Is he, his opponent's had six now, and uh, Steplinks would have done six more damage. Yeah. Nope. Tarn Wave comes down. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I don't. I'm not sure I agree with the Aird Mesa play. Uh, just because, like, if if Conley plays a non-creature spell, like he has to take yeah. three damage to get a Steam Vents if he has it in his deck yeah. to be able to cast well, Spell Pierce. He knows his opponent just drew Ban Charm, and he knows he knows his opponent played a Vernon Catacomb, so he knows that his yep. opponent doesn't have anything to, to counter. He didn't know that he had. Oh, I mean, yeah, he, he drew the Vernon Catacombs yeah. this turn. Conley drew the Vernon Catacombs. But well, it was pretty this obvious turn. that the only spell he could have played was a creature, so I, I think it was probably the safe play. The, the duck thinning is probably more important. Sure. How big is Goyf? Uh, uh, land uh, instant. 3 4, probably. Yeah. <laughs> land instant creature. I'll take the counters, so sure, yes. There's no sorceries yet. Big enough. Big enough to hold off a 2-3 and a 2-2. Two -two. Um. Lightning he looks strong for Auntie. She's gonna try to get Goyf. Oof, don't tap that blue source, Auntie. I don't, really, I don't really see what the point of this is. To get in for four more. But he's not. But that 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 Tarmogoy's not dying. That's right. It's, is it's it, a two-three right it, now. I believe. It, but he's just going to sack the explosives and make it a three-four. Why? That, this is a terrible play. Make it a four-five actually. That that is an awful awful play. Now, if he wanted to do this, he should have attacked. And when he, when, when Conley sacrificed the Vernon Catacombs, in response, you lightning heal it. Does Tarmogoyf because he doesn't have too many to blow up the explosives. And now Tarmogoyf is dead, and you're swinging it for four. I'll block. I mean that, that was real bad. A huge blunder from the former world yeah. champion. Yeah, that, I don't even know uh, what the deal is here. Like
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That Coif, is. Coif tricks people out. Coif and engineer explosives. We've seen a couple of errors uh, like yeah. that over the weekend. Yeah, without damage on the stack nowadays. 